y'all. We're live at the Pace Studio in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Ellen Johnson. I'm Lizzie Mano. And this is The Week in Music, where we're going to talk about all the best new albums, songs, and music news that happens every week uh, and goes along with our weekly column. Uh, and this week is a major, major week. We've got a lot Let's of stuff sing. coming out today. A lot of stuff has come out this week. Um, one of those things that we're excited about is the new album from Dive. And Lizzie's going to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is the Brooklyn Shoegaze Band. They basically uh, have had a little bit of upheaval with the, yeah. their band. I they mean, had they, some drama. They had their, so their front man um, recently came out of rehab. So essentially their new album, Deceiver, is centered around sort of the renewal period. Right. and The sort healing. Of, yeah, patching up the relationships with his bandmates and various other people. Right. Um but musically, I think it's their heaviest record. So there's a lot of overdriven guitar work on here. Um, the production is, I think it's the best produced dive really? record so far. Like, it's definitely not the sort of lo-fi that we yeah. might have come to know them for. I think it might be my favorite dive record, actually. Okay. Um, there's even like some people have made comparisons to some metal bands like Deaf Heaven and I think it's it's got some slow dive swerve driver right. vibes thrown in like this is this is a, a record that is very steamy it's yeah. very got some influences from all over with yeah. the metal and the shoegazy kind of stuff for sure yeah, yeah you're going to Need to open the windows to let out <laughs> all nice. the, there's, the guitar work is is incredible. Awesome. But uh, yeah, we're going to hear a little bit of their single Blankenship. So you're going to tell us a little bit about the Kelsey Walden album? Yes. So I'm so excited about Kelsey Walden. Um, she's a country singer from Kentucky. Um, she's based in Nashville now, actually. But the interesting thing about her is she was the first signee in 15 years to John Prine's label, Oh Boy Records. Legend. Um, yeah, which is um, a rare occurrence for them to sign a new artist. So this has kind of been a big deal, um, which has led her to be on a lot of our radars, I think, this year. Um, and this is not even her first album. She had another one come out a few years ago. Um, that did kind of get some some media coverage and get some attention, but this one really feels more like her arrival. Um, yeah, and so like I said, she's from Kentucky. She's from a town called Monkey's Eyebrow, Kentucky. I am not making this up. That is this. actually where she's from. <laughs> um, so she does have some songs about being from a small town and growing up in the South and kind of reckoning with all of that. Um, but it's really good, just kind of jive in classic country. If you're a fan of like Tyler Childers, maybe a little Sturgill, you know, you're really gonna, I think you're really gonna like this album. Um, also like Caroline Spence, some of that really great kind of classic country stuff that's come out this year. Um, it fits right in with that. And uh, she's really incredible. You guys should all check it out. And we're gonna listen to a song called Anyhow. Even if the world crumbles at your feet, you're gonna hold out better somehow. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the one I think we're both most excited about, and I think everyone at Pace is pretty excited <laughs> yeah. about this one. Angel Olsen, her new album is out today, All Mirrors. It is a triumph. It is so great. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. Um, I mean, this is she brought a whole orchestra in for this, yeah, right? Yeah, so 14-piece orchestra. Wow. She really brought a lot more of a cinematic yeah. kind of vibe on this oh, one. Oh, definitely. The, Huge the sounds. work yeah. on this is... I don't think it's a jarring change. Like I right. think it's still feels like Angel Olsen. I agree. But I do think it is an elevated grand um, yeah. statement. And you yeah. know, I do think this is, you know, this is her third as our reviewer stated, her third, third. masterpiece yeah. in She's a row. She's 3 for 3 right now. So <laughs> I think I don't know. I I don't know if for me if it tops my woman yeah. yet. Yet. But but it could. I with mean, some time. With time, yeah. we could we could be looking back at this record as yeah. her 
big her moment. Statement. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't think she's going anywhere either. You don't get the no. idea that she's just gonna up and leave. Like, you know, she's making statements. She's changing it up. She's gonna keep doing this. She's gonna right. keep experimenting. I think. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's been really incredible to watch this whole and, transition. And those strings, man. Those, those strings. Those we love the strings. That strings one song. It's on, um. A Lark. With, yeah, that Lark. And there's is... another song too where the strings sound like oh, I wish I could remember the name of it, but it sounds like a movie score. Oh yeah, the, I think the title well, track. Well, all mirrors. Yeah, that's the one where everybody was like, "It's the James Bond, James Bond movie." Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, the whole the whole uh, the whole album really does have like it could be used in yeah, in a film. Totally. Um, great. And we and had so, so many of those on our uh, best Angel Olsen songs. Yeah, list. which is incredible for a new album. Like we wrote this list this week, and the album wasn't even out yet, and our staff was pretty much like, "No, these songs have to yeah. be on here." It's like five or six. Yeah, of five them. or six of her fifteen it's, best songs are from this album. So like it is. It's a must hear essential listen. Um, and if you're not an Angel Olsen fan yet, this is as good a time as any, I think, to get on board. Yeah, definitely not. It's too accessible. Late. Yeah. Like, sh I mean, I guess she she doesn't have too much material where it's like, I don't even know where to begin. Right. Like, yeah. So really, you can't go wrong with any of these songs. Any place no. is a good place to start. Um, it's an incredible album and you guys all should check it out. Yeah. She has not done wrong so far. She really hasn't. She's not failed she, us. She's not <laughs> failed us yet. So definitely check it out. And then also a huge album for the Paste readers, yes. as well as us. As well as um, us. Uh, Wilco. 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 We got another, we got the 11th studio album out today from Wilco. Um, for me, this is a band that I also look at as being really consistent. I mean, I know there's some some low points in their catalog, because um, they've been around for a long time. That's mm -hmm. bound to happen. But I don't really think they've made a bad, unlistenable album. In my opinion, yeah. If they have, um, I haven't. Heard I it haven't yet. heard it, and maybe I haven't. Um, I'm not fully, you know, well versed, but I do really like this album a lot. Um, there's some really, really incredible percussion work on this album. If you haven't heard it yet, there's mm -hmm. this kind of steady drum beat that starts like right off the bat, and it continues throughout the whole album, and it gives it this kind of very like marching, striding feel, um, and it carries really well. Mm -hmm. It's um, paced really well. The record, yeah. kind of. Yeah, pace. That's a good it's, word. It's, it's, there's really never a point where you're kind of, you know, up and down and it's right. very it's jarring. Right, it's steady. Like, it's steady. Very steady. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a really exciting kind of new sound for them almost with the drums. They've never had anything like this before and I think mm -hmm. they really pulled it off and... Um, you know, like we, we were saying beforehand, it's kind of them reckoning with their good fortune in a time when everything is really dark. And mm -hmm. um, I think there's never too much of that. Yeah, uh, lots so. of uh, typical Wilco alienation yeah, yes, themes yeah. happening here. Um, there's lots of pondering. Um, but it's good stuff. You guys should check it out. Whether or not you're a Wilco fan, again, I think this is um, a, as good a time as any to get involved. It's, it's a great record. And we're going to listen to uh, the song Everyone Hides. Well, that does it for another episode of The Week in Music. Uh, check out all that music yeah. and more on PaceMagazine.com. It's all on our com. site. We have reviews and we have stuff written about all of it. So check it out and uh, see you next week. See you next week.